Hi, I'm Dave Scott. I get lots of questions that flow into my office, and I received one recently from Paul. And Paul, you had a question on high-intensity training, and my definition of high-intensity training is anaerobic endurance. And when we look at anaerobic endurance, we can kind of look at the workout segment, roughly from about 30 seconds up to two minutes. So if you think if you do just one repeat in that range, and I said, we're really blast yourself on these, you know it can kind of hurt at the end range of that because we're producing really high levels of muscle acidity. We produce very high levels of lactic acid at the at the end of that, particularly if we're doing a minute and a half to two minutes. Uh, I have all my athletes do anaerobic endurance, high intensity training. We actually start this during the off season with the shorter segments, allowing a lot of rest in between so that the work output can be sustained. And I'll, I'll give you an example. Uh, if I do six to eight repeats, and they can be all the same distance, or I can mix those up. So from think of that time frame again, 30 seconds to two minutes. So for example, I might do a couple repeats at two minutes. Now those are on the outside of, wow, those are really going to hurt. So you kind of have to pace yourself. You can't go maximally right from the get-go. You have to kind of do it as a buildup. So my suggestion is start off hard to very hard. Make sure you sustain that pace. And if you can really bring it up over the last 30 seconds, that would be great. So let's say I do one or two repeats of two minutes and then three or four repeats of a minute three or four repeats at 30 seconds. And I want to make sure that I allow enough recovery time in between. So it should be active recovery. You want to try to come down for about 30 seconds at your aerobic speed. You just don't want to sit down in a chair like I'm doing after you climb up those that hard flight of stairs. You want to go aerobically for at least 30 seconds and then go very easy. And that may include some walking time if you're doing run repeats. Obviously, if you're on your bike, you just turn your legs over. In the pool, you can have active recovery where you may swim 25 yards or 25 meters in between. One session a week or two sessions a a week, particularly in swimming, you're really going to reap the benefits. If you do this too frequently on the bike or the run, you're going to overload yourself. So I would start off this time of the year, one session on the swim, add a second one after about three weeks, one session on the bike and one session on the run. And you really find that these will really enhance your performance later on in the year. Good luck.